but some teenagers are spending a lot more time than that keeping tabs on their friends. And now some of these Facebook junkies are trying to kick their addiction. Today I'm here at Valencia High School and I'm going to be asking how many times the average student checks their Facebook a day. Ten times a day. Six and a half, like four times a day. Five times a day. Three times a day. Um, like 14 times a day. Um, seven. Eight. Ten. Six. It's like an addiction. You look up one moment and it's day and you look up another moment and it's night. In the beginning, she says, she'd be online for as little as 20 minutes a day, but then those minutes grew into a couple of hours on weekdays, and sometimes as long as six hours on the weekends. There was once a young man who attended Harvard University. He created a networking site called Facebook. He started off the website as a social network, but only for college students. After this website spread to every single college in the U.S., the world was now ready to take on Facebook. He then released it to the world March 12, 2005, making it the number one social networking site worldwide, generating $4 billion a year, making Mark Zuckerberg the world's youngest billionaire. See Facebook in five years? I definitely see it growing because with the way technology is advancing, it's definitely going to get bigger. I see it failing actually. Like, I feel like Google Plus will take over. It's just going to be like another MySpace like phase. And just, yeah. I could see that. I mean, I could see it going either way, just depending on, you know, how people feel about it and what new things are out. So. In five years, I see Facebook like pretty much dead and nobody's going to be using it and yeah probably everybody will be using like Twitter or something like that and Instagram and all that. I see Facebook like non-existent in five years and like a new thing coming out and no one really goes on Facebook anymore like what MySpace used to be. Um, I see it gone because Twitter took over because I like Twitter better. And I think everybody else does. In five years, I don't see Facebook because I'm not going to be a user on it because there's going to be a better media place on the internet that gives better resources and uh, reaches out to the people more. And it's probably going to connect more people and it's going to grow bigger because people are already hearing so much about it. So I think it's going to grow bigger. And it's probably going to be really, really big in five years. I see Facebook kind of taking over. Um, they've kind of like bought out a couple of companies and stuff like that. So I see it just getting bigger and better and even crazier. So. Now, one in 13 people are on Facebook as of right now. And teenagers spend an average around 10 hours on Facebook and it's rising. If only half their time that they were spending doing Facebook was on homework, teens' grades would improve.
Do you believe Facebook has ruined any of your social skills? I think yes, because I think through technology, people are more confident and they would never say or do the things that they do in person that they do in Facebook, on Facebook. Um, I think it has ruined our social skills because we get so accustomed to talking like with shortened words and everything that we don't really communicate with one another anymore. It's because it's a lot easier to talk to somebody through technology than it is in person. So you get accustomed to just talking to them over typing it and not just face to face. Um, no, I think I can still hold a conversation and be social. And then a lot of people like, they kind of like, they talk in a certain way online and then in person, they just, they talk differently. Um, I think Facebook in some ways has ruined social skills of people because you're not really talking face to face and it can cause drama, lots of it. No, I think talking to people on Facebook and on real life is easy. It's just the same. Oh, I personally think that Facebook has ruined social skills because you're sitting there frying your brain on the computer when you could be doing something a lot more productive. So, Facebook isn't my forte.